Hello everyone. So today we are going to see how can we work with the Google Map in the Spring Boot application. So in order to work with this uh, Google Map, you will require the Google Map API key. So in order to create the Google Map API key, you need to go to the this uh, site. I will give the link of this blog in the description. From there you can get. Then after going to this site, you will see screen like this. If you didn't have any project, you have to create a uh, select a project. Then after that, you will see like this. Then you have to choose the new project. Then after that, in the new project, you have to give the your project name and click on create. So after creation, you will get here a notification. Then you have to select the project that you have created. After creating the project, you have to go to this draw and you have to choose your api and services and in that api and services go to the enable api and services after that you will see like this then you have to click on enable api and services after that you will see uh, the apis in the maps you have to choose the maps javascript api or in the this search box you can search for maps javascript api then after that click on maps javascript api then you have to enable that after that now it's time to create an api key so in order to create an api key you have to go to this drawer and go to this api and services and go to the credentials after click on credential you have to click on create a credential after create, uh, click on create credential, you will get this drop downs. In this drop down, you have to pick the API key. After that, you will see the API key in like here. And then you can click on show key and there you will get the API key. That API key is very important. Now, so after creating the api key next step is you have to create a spring boot application now in the spring boot application while creating you have to add the dependencies lombok themely and spring wave then next you have to create a folder called controller in that controller you should create a, the class map control and in the src main resources in the templates you should create index.html so if i go to the spring this sts here you can see i have created the here a project the spring boot google chart in that i have created one package called controller and here you can see that map controller is there in that map control i have created here a, this show map method that is index and we are returning index this index.html I have created in the templates so in the templates you can see that this is the index.html so <clears throat> here this you can see in the google charts in the maps in the, go to the google charts in the guides you can see here maps you can see here are different uh, maps so if you want to explore more about the maps you can go to this i will give the link of this site in the description so if you go to the here spring boot application as we are using themely so we have to add this code and make sure that in the ninth line in the maps api key you have to give your api key right so if you go to here now here I have given all this index.html code also and also the map controller.java code. Then after that you have to run the your application. So here here you can see you will get the result like this. So these are the markers. So if I go to here in the index, you can see that we have given in the lat long. So 
so I have here customized this Mumbai Pune and Pauai so if I go to the our application if I click on this Pune you can see that Pune is coming here Mumbai and here Pauai so this is the way you can use the Google Map in the Spring Boot application so here I am using the billing account I have enabled billing account to my on my Google Maps so here I am not getting this message that is for development purpose only so if you are not ML enabled billing account then you will see this message so if you like this video you can hit like button and subscribe to our channel